welcome to Craft and Chat, 31st of March 2020. Um, it's Tuesday, in case you need a day check. Um, I've been struggling with the days of the week quite a bit. Um, it kind of, yeah, I, I don't know what's going on. I, I work from home. You would think that I am used to being at home but the days all kind of seem to be the same. So I think about my blog post uh, over the weekend that I, I think I've had three Wednesdays and two Tuesdays and I don't know where Friday went at all. Um, but I wonder, is anyone else kind of feeling a little bit like that? Um, yeah, so brilliant. So Belinda's here, Hilary's here, Chris is here. Thank you so much for joining me today. So, what have I got to talk to you about today? A few things. Um, firstly, every time I'm going to do this craft and chat, I am going to kind of give you a stamping up checkup. But the sun's come out. You wouldn't think that that would be a problem, would you? But it blinds everything. So I'm just going to see if, <laughs> if that helps. Let's the camera kind of light me up a bit better. Okay. So, stamping up are still shipping products, um, so you can place orders. And I know that we are all feeling a little uncertain, um, certainly here in the UK, but across Europe, um, about what's going to be happening over the coming weeks. I've been saying for a, well, a little while now, do place your orders and get your orders in sooner rather than later. Um, just to make sure that you've got stuff to do um, but also just in case we do get some glitches with the, the shipping. Um, today is a great day to place an order. It's the last day of celebration. So you can get free things if you spend £45 or £90. Um, there's lots of choice still available. The B paper, I know you all loved that, that's gone. Um, but pretty much everything else, uh, the card kit's gone as well, um, but pretty much everything else is still available. So as I said, the shipping is, is all going fine at the moment. Um, so today's uh, project is all linked photographs. And I was thinking about things that I could do that would give you something that you could craft, um, whether it's yourself or with uh, little ones, if you've, if you've got those about, um, but also something that you could make and send. And I remembered a project that I'd made, I've made quite a while ago um, that is designed to put photographs in. So I found my original one and I've updated it and tweaked the measurements and things. So I'm going to be sharing that with you today. But before I get onto the crafting, I'm going to talk to you about photographs. So if I asked you, where are your photographs currently? Or well, where would you say they are? I'm going to look at the comments to see. Um, Jane's here, Martha's here, Pauline's here, Anne's here. She wants to know what day it is. It's Tuesday, Anne. <laughs> um, Claire's here, Marion's here from Australia. Hi. Um, it's nine o'clock and she's placing a stamping up order whilst she's watching me. You better hurry up because you've only got two hours left, Anne. Um, but if you're in Europe, we've got till 11 o'clock tonight. Actually, 10.50 tonight. So it's 10 minutes before the hour. And Julie's here. And Amanda is saying that she keeps her photographs under the stairs. OK, so um, if you've got photos pre-digital, they'll be in a box somewhere. Amanda's is under the stairs. Um, my mother-in-law keeps some at the top of the wardrobe. I, for years, have some under the bed. Um, and the other place, which, uh, Jane's just said, in my computer. And that's where we keep them on our phones and we keep them in our computers. 
and actually we never get to see them. We take photos so we can look at them again, so we can remember things and the reality is we don't do anything with them or not many people do something with them. So um, I'm on a bit of a mission to get you to do something with your photos. The first thing I would say is if they are on your phone, get them onto your computer. Um, a couple of years ago, I dropped my phone in a toilet. It was um, a disaster, really, because um, I lost a lot of stuff from that phone. Um, but thankfully, all my photos were on the computer, so I was OK. But, you know, that can happen, can happen to anyone. Um, but also, if they're on the computer, make sure they're backed up to the cloud or onto a hard disk or something, because those are precious memories. You don't want to lose them. So, hang on. Oh, I've got more questions or oh, more comments. OK, so Michelle's saying she's got some in bags, some in albums. Um, Sally says she pr prints them off to be scrapbooked and put them in the scrapbook pile. Yeah, but then what do you do with them, Sally? Because I bet they're still in the pile because that's what we do. We kind of say, yeah, I'm going to do something with that. And actually, we still don't do anything with it. Um, Hillary's going mainly on a computer under the coffee table. You see, these are precious memories. So what are we going to do with them? So the first thing I would say is make sure they're backed up. You've got copies or whatever if they're on the computer. Um, the next thing is if they're on the computer or on your phone, get them printed. Now, um, I've got to thank uh, Kimberly and my mum for um, this little hint and tip. There are some apps, um, Snapfish is one, Free Prints is another. Um, there are several apps around, around that allow you to print 50 photographs off a month for free. You pay the postage, which is like £2.50, but you can have 40, uh, 40 or 50 photographs, depends which, which app it is, um, printed off for free. Now that is a great way of getting them off your phone and printed out. And then you can do something with them. So um, what I'm going to show you today you can do with, with that. I'm going to show you a couple of other things as well. Um, but what I would like to ask is, with all those photos that you have, or would it help if I did a craft and chat about how you can organise and sort your photos um, and, and kind of what you can do with them? Uh, let me know. You can leave comments. Um, if you're watching this on the replay, thank you very much for watching it on the replay. Um, you can leave comments on YouTube or on my blog or email me, whichever is easiest. OK, so you can use albums. Now Stamping Up have two different sizes of albums. They have the big 12 by 12 and then they have this one which is an 8 by 6. Now this is the old one <laughs> from the last catalogue. The new one has got a black stripe on it um, and I'll show you a picture of it in the catalogue in a minute. But this is a great size to start getting those photos put somewhere so that you can actually look at them rather than being in the box, in the wardrobe, under the bed, under the coffee table, wherever um, you've got. So um, what uh, these albums are designed for, they're, they're pocket albums. And so basically you have plastic sheets and they have pockets. And this size has uh, four by six pockets and three by four pockets. And you get lots of different patterns. And like I said, I'll show you in the catalogue in a minute. But they are great because it's not its not like a huge uh, 12 by 12 scrapbook album. It's not a big blank page. But you can slot in your favourite photos and then 
put in some little notes about where you were and what you were what you were doing because that's the other thing about photos if you've put your photos just in an album when somebody's looking at it they don't know who the people are they don't know why that particular place was special to you and those things they're the memories that's what you want to keep um so you need to to jot those jot those down so um julie's saying that's a great idea okay so if if several of you would like me to to talk about photos and organizing and things i can i can do that on a on another craft and chat um to go with these albums with the pockets we've got these cards and these are called memories and more cards and this is um one of the uh, one of the packs but they're basically all cut to size um, and you can use them for journaling, which is writing your dates and various things on. So that's those. So let me just open up the catalogue to the right page. Yeah. So in the annual catalogue, it's page 170. Um, oh, for some reason, my iPad is running out of charge so i'm just gonna have to plug that in again in a second so whilst um whilst i do that let me just explain this so here that's the album with the black these are the pockets they're eight by six and you get ooh 12 pages five different designs and then these are um the the two different sets of cards that we have but the brilliant thing about it is you can use your cardstock and papers that you already have um so you know you don't need anything special once you've got the album and the pockets right stay there i'm going to go off camera whilst i work out why this isn't working let's see Okay. Right, I'm hoping that I've actually got charge now. Right. So, um Linda's joined, Jess has joined. Um Angela's here. Angela, yeah, I'm I'm sorry that you couldn't find me. Um there was a bit of a problem earlier on. <laughs> I had a few technical technical glitches going on so um do I, I am pleased that you found me now okay so chris is saying the wheel's coming round because we were all really pleased to be able to store photos digitally and that is absolutely true but now we can't see them we can't find them um i've got over twenty thousand photos on my computer and I reckon there's probably 10,000 photos on there that don't need to be on there. My computer would probably work a lot faster <laughs> if I didn't have them on. Um, so that's kind of one of the things that I was thinking about talking to you guys about, about photos and things. Okay, so shall we get some crafting doing? Um, I did put a little sneak peek um, of the, the project. This, um, this is a completed one. I'm going to make one in uh, different colours, um, but this is using the Free as a Bird, the lovely uh, DSP, and what it is, is a photo album, um, and so you can put as many pockets as you want in there, and it fits in an A5 envelope. So I am hoping that you guys can make these and send them to your friends and loved ones um happy post is what it's all about at the moment we can't socialize in person so let's start sending things to people so send cards um you know send somebody their favorite chocolate bar and you know take photos 
or when you're out on your daily walk and uh, sort through your photos and send some uh, photos of your, your family to them. Uh, things like that. I just think that would just be a really nice way of happy post. Okay, so I'm going to turn the camera around and uh, we're going to get crafting. Do let me know if you've got any questions. Um, I'm going to cover over the... Um, <laughs> the lens of the camera. This is a good day. Um, <laughs> I'm going to cover over the lens of the camera so that you don't get seasick when I turn you around. Okay, so hang on in there. It's all going to go green. All right, so I'm going to move my iPad out of the way a little bit. Let's move this this way. Yeah. Right. Let's just straighten you up. I'm just going to move the grid paper up a bit so it's all in shot. Um, can you guys let me know if that is good for you? I'm hoping. The, the lighting is always much better when I'm crafting. Um, so, let's just move these things out of the way. I don't need. <sighs> See, it's much calmer once I start crafting. Okay, so let's have a, a quick... A quick look at that. Um, so we've got this fold out bit. Look, I thought this was really funny. I'm actually wearing this top today. And um, this is Brian and I in Alaska, um, which, yeah, it's pretty, pretty lovely. So has anyone guessed what these are yet? These are clear envelopes. Stamping up clear envelopes. How cool are these? So um, this is basically what these these uh, photo pockets are. So um, you can put as many as you want in. Now, I've said about posting this, so it would go large letter. Um, so you don't want it to go too thick, but equally, um, you can put quite a few in. I think I've got six in here. So, um, but you know, you could easily get a dozen in there. Okay, so I think you might want some measurements. Oh, Chris is saying there were reflections. Yeah, it'll be it'll be the plastic. Um, hopefully, once I'm just using cardstock, it'll it'll go away. Okay, so don't worry about taking down the measurements um, if you don't catch them as I say them. As always with all of my videos, um, you'll be able to scroll down a little bit later and all of the measurements will be listed there for you. And of course, if you're watching this on replay, if you're on my blog or on YouTube, they'll be there for you as well. Along with all the links to the products. Um, so you can just click on the link and go to my online store. Okay, so... Um, the paper is Fraser Bird. Um, these little bits here are stitched nested labels dies. Um, and this is actually the stamp set that goes with it, but I didn't use that stamp set. I actually fussy cut that out of, um, the patterned paper and I'm doing the same with the, the next one. So let's get the trimmer in and get started. Ooh, trimmer's upside down. That's not going to help. Okay, so I've got two pieces of cardstock. So this is Mossy Meadow. And this first one is eight and a half by four and three quarters. And this one is seven and an eighth by three and three quarters. Now, um, eighths of an inch tend tend to make people worry a little bit. So I just want to kind of 
talk to you um, about the eighths of an inch. So on the stamping up trimmer, you in between the, the four and the three here, you've got the long line, which is half an inch, and then the next size line down is um, a quarter of an inch. And then the next size down is an eighth of an inch. It actually goes to sixteenths, I think. Yeah. One. Yeah, goes to sixteenths. So it's um, not the tiniest line, but the line after that. Um, you wanted a close up, Anne? Um, there you go. I will put some pictures of this up. So, oh, do you mean of the <laughs> the card or the trimmer, Anne? Yeah, let me know. Um, right, so I am going to score the long piece, the big piece at one and a quarter inches, which is there. Like that. And then this one at one and an eighth of an inch. Okay, so this piece is the base and then this piece is the top and what I want to show you is that this is going to line up here and this is going to line up and there's going to be a little bit of a gap here. Right, let me see, let me get a piece of cardstock, okay. Um, I'm hoping that you can see. So it's that eighth of an inch difference here. Um, and I've done that deliberately so that when this folds over, it's not too bulky here. Um, so that's, that's why it's that size. Okay. So what we're going to do first is get our um, envelopes. And I'm just going to line it up so there's a small gap around the edge and this is probably going to be reflecting again guys um so all of the lights i've got on <laughs> all of the lights i've got on at the moment right and then each one you are just going to stick one on top of the other right and did you see the card um well enough. This is always the scary bit when you're doing a Facebook Live, you know, because all of a sudden the comments stop ah, and you're not entirely sure of whether or not everyone's gone or, oh, hang on, I think I'm doing too many here, one, two, three four five I'm just doing one more um or um whether your computer's frozen you can never quite tell okay so that's six okay so then I'm just going to do a little bit of decorating so for this one watching intensely <laughs> thank you right so, I am using the magnolia paper. So, I should know what it's called, honestly. Hang on. It's called the Magnolia Lane Designer Series Paper. And I'm going to stick it down. <laughs> I'm saying that um, you're not making any comments because you're all concentrating intently. Thank you. Okay, so what you are going to be wanting to know is what sizes are the pieces of paper, Amanda? Okay, so this piece of card and patterned paper is for the back. And I know that's kind of strange, isn't it? Um, let me show you with this one. Um, I've put decorated the front and I've decorated the back. 
it's to make it more stable and more sturdy so it's not kind of bendy um and you know we've got plenty of patterned paper let's be honest so well, why not cover the back as well okay so this is the back make sure i'm putting it the right way up this is the back so the cardstock is petal pink and it's seven inches by four and a half and then the dsp the patterned paper is six and three quarters by four and a quarter so down quarter of an inch as always okay so that's the back let's do the front this is the cardstock front is five and three quarters by four and a half and then the dsp is five and a half by four and a quarter okay love this pattern it's just so pretty <laughs> Okay, that is pretty, pretty wonky. Hang on, let's try and make it a little less wonky. Although, no, stop! So if you were here last week, you will know that I tried and failed to tie a bow. Well, this week, I thought, whatever you do, Amanda, don't do anything with ribbon. That's, you know, that's what I was telling myself. But I did. Look, I put ribbon on here. And, of course, now I've, for I've forgotten to stick it down. Hopeless. Hopeless, hopeless. Okay, pretty ribbon. This is, which ribbon is it? Metallic edged ribbon. It's also petal pink. Because, you know, oh, we like to coordinate. Just, yeah, I might, oh, which way round am I putting it that way, I think. Okay, so, look, I'm using a different glue other than Tombow. I'm using tear and tape. Um, I tend to when I'm sticking ribbon down. Just ignore the fact that that's already got Tombow on it. This doesn't happen to anyone else, does it? You know, when they're crafting. <laughs> you don't stick something down and think, oh no, I didn't mean to do that. So Amanda's saying that she's loving this idea. Thank you. Marion loves the ribbon and Chris is saying it would make good Christmas gifts. I know, Chris, absolutely. Um, but the the me, main reason for me showing it today was because I just saw all of these people that we can't see and give a hug to. Maybe, maybe oh, we could <laughs> send something now. <sighs> Look. Now, if I'd meant to do that, that would look really cool, wouldn't it? I didn't actually mean to do that. Let's try that again. I've got to unstick it twist it there we go <coughs> right I need a slurp of my tea because I'm just chatter 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 <laughs> oh my word right you know eventually these are going to be perfect right there we go look quick slurp of my tea Claire's saying that she never makes a mistake when she's crafting. Pauline's saying she's doing it all the time. And Angela's saying, no, that never happens to her. And they're all laughing. All the laughing emoticons. Right. Okay, where was I? <gasps> okay. So this piece is for the spine. Ooh. Which is going there. So this piece skinny 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 piece so the cardstock is a one inch by four and a half 
and the patterned paper is three quarters of an inch by four and a quarter. Da -da -da. Yay! See, that's in the right place and everything. Do you know what? We're, we're so nearly finished. Although I've got a bit of fussy cutting to do, so you're going to have to listen to me jabbering on for a little while. Right. This is foil, gold foil, and that is petal pink. Um, so, a hint and tip whilst I'm chatting. Lots of people... Um, have spoken to me about their gold foil and sometimes when they run it through the big shot it gets scratches on it and the scratches are actually coming from it's not the foil it's coming from your cutting plates so if that is something that happens to you then um, just get a piece of copier paper and um, put it on top of the foil and then run it through your die cutting machine like normal and it would protect it it will protect it from most scratched plates if your plates are so scratched it kind of embeds in it you might need two sheets um, of copy of paper okay Angela's sharing a quote with us the best teacher is your last mistake. Ah, it's very deep, but very true. Okay, so now we need something to decorate on there. And I'm going to do a bit of fussy cutting because you yeah, know I love to fussy cut things. And actually, if we were in class now, if we were at card club, Lots of uh, ladies here from, from my in-person classes. They'd be groaning going on now because they'd be going, no, don't, um, don't make us fussy cut. I, I, I love it. And the thing with fussy cutting is if you take your time with it, um, it makes a really good um addition to your crafting skills I think because we have so many beautiful patterned papers and you know you don't always want to stamp on projects um, this project has no stamping on it or whatsoever and it just means that you can use these papers um, and, and use all of them So Sally's saying she loves fussy cutting too. Well, did you know, I'm not sure it's still in print, but I actually I actually wrote a book about decoupage. <laughs> it was a long time ago. Well, I say it was a long time ago. It was a few years ago. Um, but yeah, so I do love a bit of fussy cutting. And look, you see, this is why you want to fussy cut. Right, a little bit of Tombow on there. And we're nearly done. We are so nearly done. Okay, so we're going to put a mountain of tear and tape on. Now normally, you guys know me, normally I use Tombow for everything. But this is kind of slippy. So you need tear and tape. Um, to make sure it is absolutely going to grip on there. So. There we go. So that's four strips there. So this piece... You need, this is the only time that you really need to kind of make sure it's lined up. So line it up there. And then we're going to take these two pieces of tape liner off. And just give it an extra rub over. Doesn't want to come off today. 
Okay, so just make sure that you're lined up there. Okay, so that's there. Almost. I'm going to trim that. Oh! This is how you fix it <laughs> when it's slightly wonky. There we go. Okay. And then this piece goes over the top. Kind of. It will do. I often use my uh, take your pick tool um, to lift it off. There we go. Right. So then this top piece is coming over the Oh, it's the spine basically it's coming over the top because then that piece hinges and it also the reason I've done it that way is that it's then very clear that that bit is the bit that moves okay so this is is ready now for you to put your photos in so I couldn't resist <laughs> showing you a picture of the dog um so these photos that you can get printed free are normally four by six, but some of the um, companies do them as five and a half, so that would work. But I'm going to pop that in and it will fit in there perfectly. I'm just going to hold it, hold it up to see, um, see whether you can you can kind of see that. Um, but you know, you could put little notes in here. Yeah, I'm hoping, I'm just kind of wa watching um, myself on the iPad just to see if I can actually get um, pictures without reflection. But there we go. So, but you've obviously, I've put six pockets in. So you can put a, like a double-sided, um, where's the other photo? So you can put the photos in back to back like that and you could put notes in that sort of thing you might depending on where you've actually put your clear envelopes you might have to trim a tiny bit off your photos um, so that and that probably isn't a problem with with most photos you can just trim a little bit down okay so let me just show you there's there's the the second the second version um brilliant okay so let's see so hi Paula welcome um right so you're liking the project thank you um Katie's saying you could make it a book of inspirational sayings to cheer people up right now yeah that's that's the thing isn't it um if you've got little ones um around they could do drawings for their you know aunts and uncles and grandparents and pop those in the post it's just an opportunity to share some things with those that you love um and you get to make some lovely projects too and i think we all need um a little bit of of crafting time and i think it's more important right now than it probably ever has been that we need to take time to express things and share things with people. And we can't actually do that in person. So making something like this and putting whatever you want to in it will be um, a really great thing to do. Right, so I've had a question about the pockets being acid free. Um, I don't know is the answer. Um, I will double check. Now, for those of you that aren't memory keepers, acid free is really important um, to make sure that the photos uh, stay around for a long time. So all of our cardstock and patterned paper is um, the foil isn't, um, but the foil isn't in contact with um with the photos i will double check that um but for me this isn't necessarily about something that's going to um be storing the photos forever 
um but i think it is it is you know just a great gift for now um yeah so have we got any questions about what i've what i've done like i said all of the measurements will be um both facebook my blog and on youtube you'll just be able to scroll down and i'll put all the measurements there along with all the links um, so that you can do that and that's this is uh, designed for the clear envelopes um, I'm just going to whilst I'm whilst you know chat amongst yourselves I'm just going to see what size it says those envelopes are do, do, do. Right, so the clear envelope is five and three quarters by four and three eighths. Um, so it's it's slightly smaller than our normal C six envelopes. Um, yeah, okay, right. So any questions before I I leave you? Okay. So thank you so much for joining me today. And yeah, I'm almost on time. So uh, 45 minutes. So that's that's brilliant. So I am so thankful for you all to take time out of your day to, to come and hang out with me. Um, I'm really enjoying this, technical difficulties aside. Um, so I will see you back here at two o'clock next Tuesday and I will remind everybody just in case we forget what day of the week it is again. All right, take care of yourselves and if you make these, I want to see pictures. Either post them on my Facebook page, post them in the Inspiring Ink and Crafting Corner or email me pictures. Um, I'd love to see what you are creating. Take care, I'll see you again soon. Goodbye.